Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So, looking further at the amazing little Nikon D5200, I was reading another article that EOS HD did with the 5200 against the Canon 5D Mark III. Now you wouldn't think with all the fame and acclaim of the 5D Mark III that it would be able to uh, hold a candle against it. The 5200, I mean, against the 5D Mark III. And yet, um, I'm basically going to give you seven reasons uh, why you might want to consider the D5200 over the Canon 5D Mark III. And there's significant reasons, not little things here. Um, there's some major points in this article, and I'll post the article link below. You can have a look for yourself and um, read it. Let me know if you agree with my points, uh, if there's other things I've missed to bring up, um, or... Um, you know, what you think. So, first of all, we've got uh, some quotes that I want to let you uh, in on from the article that really summarize what's going on between these two cameras and just how great the D5200 is. And uh, he says, video quality is so close to the 5D Mark III that you can barely tell them apart. Now, the 5D Mark III has excellent video quality, so for them to be saying that you can barely tell it apart from the D5200 is a heck of a feather in the cap of the Nikon D5200. Excellent, excellent compliment there. Noise is basically a non-issue on both cameras. And he goes on to say that only at 6400 ISO and higher does the 5D Mark III look cleaner. So basically, we have... The, can, uh, the Nikon D5200 uh, as good as the Canon 5D Mark III for the video quality and noise at high ISO up to 6400. It's only when you get to ISO 6400 that he's noticing a significant difference in the 5D Mark III. And this is excellent because, well, for myself, I never shoot at, um, at 6400 for, uh, for video. So to be able to say the, that the, the ISO on the D5200 is so good that 3200 is nice and clean, as good and, uh, and, and indistinguishable from the Canon 5D Mark III is incredible. So um, the other thing he notes is that the D5200 size being an APS-C is very closely matched to super 35 millimeter sensor. So that will be uh, similar to like the Canon C300. And as such, you can uh, mix and match clips from both cameras uh, very easily uh, from Super 35 or um, anything in that size like the C300, uh, the C300, not 3300, uh, with the Nikon D5200. In fact, probably easier than the Canon 5D Mark III. Uh, some other points which are a big bonus, are smaller and lighter on the D5200. Uh, articulated screen, I can't stress enough how huge this is for me. Right at this moment, I'm looking at myself on my D5200 and I'm able to confirm that we're in focus, that we are recording, and that things are, are going well. So, uh, and that's because of the articulated screen. If you don't have that articulated screen, you can't do that. And for video, I won't even use a camera now without an articulated screen. Um, the only one that I might even consider it is my RX100 in a pinch. Um, and that's just because it's highly portable and small. But the D5200 really shines for that. Uh, also, full 1080p HDMI output on the D5200. Big feather in the cap for the D5200 there. Audio via the HDMI on the D5200. Again, excellent specs here on the D5200. And then probably the biggest thing is that the cost of the D5200 is around 700 bucks for the body. That is phenomenal. You get all this quality, excellent video capabilities, and we're talking $700 for body. It's, it's better to have a few of those around if you're, if you're doing a shot that requires multiple views and angles. And... At 700 bucks a body, you can't go wrong. You don't want to be doing that with 5D Mark III's unless you got one heck of a budget. As he says in the article, for 52, uh, sorry, for 2,300 dollars less than the 5D Mark III, the uh, buyers are getting virtually the same video quality, but with the advantage of an articulated screen and full 1080p HDMI output. So, big. Uh, kudos, big compliments going out to the Nikon D5200. Not only is it holding its own against Canon 5D Mark III, there's seven reasons why you might want to consider it over the Canon 5D Mark III. 
Let me know what you think, folks. Leave uh, some comments below. Again, I'll post the link to the EOSHD.com article. It's a really good article to read. And uh, just really interesting. If you haven't caught on, as I mentioned, I'm filming this with my D5200. I have picked up a D5200 and I'm loving it. And I'm going to have a couple new video posts for you on why I did that. Although you can kind of get the gist with a lot of these points here on just how good the video is. But surprisingly, you might be interested in knowing what I'm selling and getting rid of and I'm actually switching over to the D5200. So we'll, we'll uh, take that up in another video. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new articles, some new uh, posts, and we'll uh, keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks a lot, folks.